Hi there. My name is Yoni Uito, and I'm the chair of the Department of Dermatology and Cutaneous Biology here at Sydney Kimmel Medical College of Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia. I did my own dermatology residency training at Washington University in St. Louis, followed by eight years of UCLA faculty in California, and then I arrived in Philadelphia at Jefferson to my current position in 1986. During my 34 years of tenure as chair, I and my colleagues here at Jefferson have built an outstanding comprehensive dermatology department known for its excellence in clinical training and for its world-renowned research efforts. Our current full-time faculty consists of 27 physicians and scientists, pretty much equally divided between the clinical and research arms of the department. You will be hearing more uh, of the clinical side from my colleagues, but I just would like to make you aware of the broad-based academic opportunities in basic and translational research within our department, focusing on heritable connective tissue and skin diseases, fibroidic disorders, cutaneous immunology, and skin cancer. Our research is well-funded by the government and foundations, and in the past, we have been number one of the National Institutes of Health funding among all dermatology units in the country. I urge you to have a close look into our residency training program, and I would be more than happy to give additional information on opportunities here at Jefferson. Let me turn now the podium to our clinical director, Dr. Jason Lee, who is also chief of dermatopathology. Hello, my name is Jason Lee. I have been in practice at Jefferson for over 20 years where my focus has been strictly medical dermatology and the education of students, residents, and fellows. I'm currently the Dermatopathology Fellowship Director. My areas of interest include pigmented lesions, dermatoscopy, melanomas, and recently artificial intelligence in dermatopathology. As a dermatologist and dermatopathologist, Clinical pathology correlation served as the foundation of learning and teaching dermatology. For example, careful clinical, dermoscopic, and pathologic correlation provide an in-depth understanding of dermatoscopy that clinical and dermatoscopic correlation alone could not otherwise. The dermatopathology laboratory is embedded within the clinic where residents and faculty members have access to their slides and dermatopathology faculty to review their cases. Learning of dermatopathology takes place at the 21-headed microscope, at our weekly two-hour dermatopathology didactic sessions, sessions, and at our weekly clinical pathologic correlation conference that emphasizes not only the clinical and histopathologic findings, but also the clinical issues and advances relevant to dermatology practice. In the laboratory, there are over 2,000 slides for review and teaching purposes, and new ones are added daily. In the midst of COVID pandemic, dermatopathology education has been shifting toward a virtual format. A repository of over 3,000 virtual slides have been prepared for the new era of teaching all students dermatology. The current education curriculum comprises a hybrid format of virtual and in-person. My philosophical approach has been for dermatopathology to be accessible, teachable, and applicable to the daily practice. Problem-solving skills and critical thinking are emphasized along with foundational knowledge, concepts, and principles which will prepare our trainees to provide patient care that not only meets the standard of care, but also exceeds the standard. I'm Sherry Yang, and I joined the Jefferson faculty in 2015. I currently serve as the Assistant Program Director alongside Dr. Matthew Keller and also run the inpatient consult service, HS clinic, and third year medical student clerkship. I primarily work out of our Center City location where I precept resident clinic and see a combination of general and complex medical dermatology patients. The medical dermatology training at Jefferson is definitely a huge strength of the program. Between working and attending clinic and running their own continuity clinics, our residents are exposed to an incredible variety of disease states and severities in patients of all skin types. They leave our program more than capable of facing whatever challenge awaits them in the exam room, whether it be an advanced stage melanoma, steroid refractory pemphigus, or a self-referred HS patient looking for a third opinion. Once a week, I work out of the Silverside office in Wilmington, Delaware which has a very different patient population and simulates more of a private practice feel. Residents are able to sample a different practice environment and get an idea of how a non-hospital-based office is run. It's a nice change of pace from the hustle and bustle of Center City. Hi, 
I'm Josh Trufant, the Director of Mohs and Dermatologic Surgery. We have a busy surgical practice here at Jefferson that spans both our Center City, Philadelphia, and Wilmington, Delaware campuses, as well as the Wilmington Veterans Hospital. Dermatology residents play an essential, hands-on role in that practice. Residents spend two to four weeks each year with me in the Mohs unit, plus additional weeks with my colleague, Dr. Sadie, helping us treat skin cancers in cosmetically and functionally sensitive areas. They assist with taking Mohs layers, interpreting slides at the two-headed scope, and reconstructing surgical wounds using a variety of techniques, from simple linear closures to more complex flaps and grafts. In addition to the more common basal and squamous cell cancers, residents also get exposure to Mohs for melanoma using MART1 immunohistochemistry. Their most hands-on experience comes during monthly surgery and procedure days at the Veterans Hospital, where residents are the primary surgeons and I act as supervisor and occasional assistant if needed. The VA is one of the true great assets to this program, and we're very fortunate to be able to serve this grateful group of patients. The surgical didactic curriculum is designed to be as practical and interactive as possible. In addition to lectures and journal clubs, there are reconstruction sessions where residents draw and talk through repair options on patient photos, and an annual cadaver workshop where they are able to practice their surgical skills in a relaxed, cooperative environment. I think any graduate of our program will tell you that whatever path you choose after residency, Jefferson provides a strong surgical training that will serve you well throughout your career. Hi, I'm Nazani Sadie. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Dermatology and Cutaneous Biology at Thomas Jefferson. I'm the director of laser surgery and cosmetic dermatology and also the co-director of cutaneous surgery. I've been at Jefferson since 2012. I'm originally from the Philadelphia area, but I did my residency at the University of California in Irvine, and I did my fellowship at Skincare Physicians in Massachusetts. When I came to Jefferson in 2012, I started the Laser and Cosmetic Surgery Center. At that time, we had two devices. Today, we have over 15. I'll explain a little bit about what kind of exposure the residents have to cosmetic training. Each resident spends a little over two months with me one-on-one. -on -one. During this time, they see a wide range of cosmetic treatments that we offer, from sclerotherapy to neuromodulators and fillers, to laser resurfacing, treating vascular lesions and pigmented lesions. The residents do have hands-on training during their time with me with the devices, and we have evening cosmetic sessions throughout the year for their hands-on training with injectables. All the residents that I've had during my years at Jefferson feel comfortable and confident not only performing cosmetic procedures, but also managing demanding cosmetic patients and their complications. The residents also have monthly cosmetic lectures to have a comprehensive curriculum and a full understanding of the basics of cosmetic dermatology, but also advanced and novel treatments. Over the years, I've been impressed by how comfortable and confident graduating residents have been with their technical skills in performing surgeries and cosmetic procedures. If any of you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Hi, I'm Matthew Keller, and I am the program director as well as the associate chair of education for the Department of Dermatology here at Thomas Jefferson University. I joined the Jefferson faculty in 2009 after having completed my medical education and residency at Jefferson as well. So all told, I have been part of the Thomas Jefferson University family since 2001. I run a complex medical dermatology clinic, cover inpatient consults, precept resident continuity clinic at the Silverside Saddle location in Delaware, as well as serve as the primary preceptor for our VA continuity clinic. This allows me to be at most of the locations the residents train at to ensure they are getting a balanced and effective education. Many ask what the greatest strength of our program is, and I feel that it is our patients. Few locations can offer the diversity that our clinics allow. Our location in Center City puts us in a unique situation to care for all ages, ethnicities, and socioeconomic situations. This is further supplemented by our satellite sites, including a more suburban setting and then the VA setting yielding an excellent learning platform. The program also offers excellent surgical training with Dr. Trufant and cosmetic training with Dr. Sadie, as well as lymphoma clinic with Dr. Nickbot, a pigmented lesion clinic with Dr. Lee, and HS clinic with Dr. Yang. Our residents rotate at AI DuPont Children's Hospital with Dr. Hyde, and we are recruiting a pediatric dermatologist for our Center City location as well. Didactics are Tuesday mornings and kick off with our Clinical Pathologic Correlation Grand Rounds Conference held each week. 
Residents have book reviews, internal and external lecturers, as well as journal clubs, and other specialty didactics as well on Tuesdays. In addition, there is a two-hour dramatic pathology session held most Fridays run by our dramatic pathologist. Pathology is at the center of all we do, and having the Dermpath Lab adjacent to the Center City Clinic further facilitates this. Residents spend four months in dramatic pathology during their residency. Most of the first year of residency is spent in general clinic, with specialty rotations mostly starting in the second half of first year. You will spend time in cosmetics and surgery throughout your residency as well, as have the exposure to all of the specialty clinics each year. You also will spend three months over the last two years of residency covering inpatient consultations, as well as the opportunity to spend one month on elective pursuing education outside of what we offer here at Jefferson, if you choose. There are several named lectureships in the department each year that bring in well-known speakers that the residents are able to take full advantage of. In addition, in Philadelphia, we have the Philadelphia Dermatologic Society meetings where all the academic institutions in the Philadelphia area take turns holding a large patient-centered conference to further enhance the education of all dermatologists and trainees in the area. It is truly a bonus to training in Philadelphia. This is all in addition to the bread and butter and complex medical dermatology cases we all see in Center City and in the community. We run residency clinic in Center City as well as at the Silver Site satellite site. Center City Clinic is the main hub and where you spend the majority of your training. You have the Dermapath Lab, Cosmetic Suite, Surgical Suite, as well as a 14-room general clinic space. It is just one block from the main hospital and only a few from the library. Silverside is a small private practice that we own and operate in the Wilmington, Delaware area. It is an excellent way for us to have a different pace of practice and offer much needed dermatologic care to the community. There are three residents who do their residency clinic there, but everyone gets an opportunity to do training at that location. In addition, as part of a collaboration, residents go to a local community hospital, Christiana Care, to provide care to a separate patient group. Christiana Care is one of the only dermatology groups that takes state insurance in Northern Delaware, so it also serves as another opportunity for us to care for the underserved. The teaching the residents receive there and the patient population is definitely seen as a strength by our residents. We also run weekly clinics at the Wilmington VA Hospital, which is an excellent way to not only serve our veterans, but serves as a valuable training site for surgery as well as medical dermatology. I believe the blend of attending and resident-centered clinics we have offer an excellent balance between autonomy and volume that result in superior training. I can assure you that all our graduates are far ahead of their peers in terms of patient care when they leave our program. I know this because they call or email me shortly after graduating, letting me know how prepared they felt from day one. I also hear from their employers lauding their patient care and surgical skills. We place residents in many different types of practice from physician scientists to private practice MOs and cosmetics, small solo practices to large multi-specialty groups, as well as varied institutions with Boston University, Harvard, Johns Hopkins, and of course Jefferson to name a few. I believe Jefferson is an excellent program with a strong faculty and encourage those with interest to contact us if they want any additional information about the institution or program. Thank you.